The Axial Capper. It's got a really good dig unit in it, and the more I drive it, the more I like it. Especially being able to dig around the corners because it's real effective. But would it benefit from overdrive front gears? I've got this setup from Boom Racing right here. BR955029. Got this from Dixieland RC. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the truck and uh, see if it makes a difference. Take a look. This is what you get with the Boom Racing kit right here. Now, although it's only three bolts on there, you can see the ring gear is keyed to the actual spool. So those three bolts are plenty for this. The key feature that I mentioned is this right here. That flat is kind of triangle and it actually slides into the ring gear just like that. So it physically holds the ring gear and spool together with the three bolts. And it's actually really, really strong. If you have an axial capper, I'm going to have to assume that you built it. If that's the case, then I don't need to show the actual install of this. So I'm just simply going to put it in place. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how much the difference is here. Not a whole lot, but you can see that front is spinning a little bit faster than the back. Now this is about the same amount that um, I had on the Superlight, or that I've got in the Superlight, and it seems to make a bit of difference. So, there you go, it's definitely overdriving on the front. Now let's take this thing outside. When I do this test, I actually back whatever it is up to that rock, kind of line it up to the side, give it a good turn, and just simply go as sharp as I can. And then we're just going to see how far we get over here before it gets stuck. <laughs> it's trying but not quite looks like that's it let's see if the mobile drive gears are going to actually help this thing out any see if i can ease it right along i mean it's barely an overdrive No, not much. Now, you know, people talk about having the overdrive really helps pull the front down when you're climbing. I have yet to actually experience the front doing that. You know, it's, it's like, you know, it helps more on turning. That it helps on, but... I just haven't really noticed it all that much. There we go. Got that front end kind of hooked into there. All right. Oh, shoot. Nope. Come on. There we go. That did not work out. Ah, a little throttle helped it. And you know, using dig like that just really uh, almost negates the need for overdrive. I mean, really. I, mean, I guess if you're one of them guys that just really doesn't want any overdrive, maybe it'll help you out here. What a nice little belly spot right here. Oh, there it was. Had to give it some throttle. Now, coming across the backside over here is usually really, really rough. Now, the angle on this thing is actually pretty darn steep when you're over on that side I'm gonna try some front dig <laughs> that's what I just ended up with <laughs> I 
I don't know if that was a save or what, but uh, that was interesting. See that hook? See that hook that front end just did? It pulled in. And it was just enough maybe. So I can get that front end around a little bit more. No. Oh well. It was close. When I put the shocks on, it made a world of difference on this climb right here. So I would have to give that to the actual shock wheel and tire setup over the overdrive. Oh. Let's try some side hill action here. Let me show you guys just how steep it is. Let's see here. You see it's got a good little steepness to it. Seems to just be driving like normal now. Normal now that I got the right setup. <laughs> <laughs> Climbs that pretty darn good. Still got some good flex to it. This is such a tight spot with that little point sticking out right there. Come on, come on. You know, part of me wants to say, yeah, they're the greatest thing in the world. The other part of me says, I didn't really notice a difference. I mean, um, it turned a little bit sharper, but you know, the climbs was, I didn't notice any difference at all with the overdrive gears. Um, and if you noticed, I also used a dig, you know, um, the dig works so well on this truck that I think unless maybe you get more of a overdrive up front, you know, um, it was mentioned to me that there's a little bit of extra space for that top gear in the portal. Maybe somebody's working on some overdrive portal gears. That would be actually pretty neat. Um, maybe that combined with these gears may actually make it into something that I would say is worthwhile to do. Um, there are links in the description to get this for yours so you can try it yourself. I think it was around $34 or so. Um, it wasn't expensive. But... I just didn't see that it made that big of a difference. Now, I've got the overdrive gears in the super light right here, and they do make a difference. Not so much in the climbing that I can tell, but definitely in the turn. I got the TRX4 right here, the Optimus 2, and it also has the overdrive gears in it. With, they both have the stock rear gears, but um, don't really know that it helps much with the Optimus TRX. Maybe it does, and I'm just not, you know, really noticing it too much but you know um it's in there and i left them in there for a reason whatever that reason is they're still in there so um anyway um i've got to say marginal at best maybe it's something to talk about with your buddies brag about hey my camper's got overdrive or maybe it's just something so somebody can make a video on it but um, anyway, um, they're okay, I guess. Anyway, there's a link in the description below. And thank you guys for watching.